Hot Sonic Shabazz from Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness Center. Coming at you today with a little short video dealing with obesity. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that please please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We try to post a video daily concerning health, concerning wellness. So if you like videos dealing with those topics, please um, subscribe, hit the like button. Today's topic, as we said, is obesity. What is obesity? Well, the signs. We're going to look at obesity, how it affects people, what causes obesity, and uh, give you a parameter by which you can check and make and see whether or not you are falling in the area of becoming obese. Obesity is a problem that affects many people around the world due to bad diet, due to no exercise, due to a whole lot of things. Those are just two of the main things. We're going to look at obesity, the clinical term for uh, definition of obesity. Obesity, obesity is a complex disease involving an excessive amount of body fat. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern, meaning that you don't, you're not just concerned about looking overweight. You're not just concerned about people considering you fat, uh, overweight. Obesity affects your bones. Obesity affects your heart. Obesity affects every area of your body. Obesity cause is the leading cause of many di diseases. So you don't want you don't want to lose weight just for cosmetic reasons. You want to lose weight and manage your weight for reason far beyond just the cosmetic concerns. Obesity is a medical problem that increases your risk of other diseases and health problems, such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and certain cancers. Obesity is diagnosed when your body mass index, your BMI, is 30 or higher. So tell me your body mass index divides your weight in pounds by your height in inches squared and multiply by 703 or divide your weight in kilograms by your weight and by your height in meters squared. For most people, BMI provides a reasonable estimate of body fat. Now, if you don't know how to, how to do that, you can contact any health, any um, health coach, any um, fitness coach, go to uh, any, any uh, gym and then they, and they'll be glad to show you or help you find out what your BMI is. However, BMI doesn't directly measure body fat, doesn't directly measure body fat. So some people such as muscular athletes may have a BMI in their, in their obesity category even though they don't have excessive body fat. Let's go some more, some more of the causes of obesity. Although, although there are genetic behavioral, metabolic, and hormonal influence on body weight, obesity occurs when you take in more calories than you burn through exercise and normal daily activities. Your body stores those excess calories as fat. Most American diets are too high in calories, often from fast food and high cal calorie beverages, as we uh, stated before. People with obesity might eat more calories before feeling full, feel hungry sooner, eat more due to stress or anxiety. If you feel you're obese, please see a medical doctor or a nurse practitioner so they can get your vitals, um, make sure that, um, or check to see if you have any underlying 
medical condition other than obesity. And then once you get that, think about seeing a coach, a nutritionist, a nutrition coach or a health coach. And once you see the nutritionist and the health coach, all the nutritionists, all the health coach, all the dietitian, then look to look to find a fitness trainer that you're comfortable with and begin to work out but work out under the supervision of a trained professional also once you see the doctor and you're clear to work out you need to have your environment at home conducive to working out because in order to change your attitude toward food toward um destructive behavior and food can be can fall in the category of destructive behavior if we allow food to take over our lives you like any addiction and that's not to say that everybody who is obese is addicted to food because many people who are obese are not addicted to food there are other underlying reasons that their that their um body weight is so high uh their uh bmi is off so we're not saying that everybody who is obese is addicted to, to, to food but there are underlying conditions or things that cause us to overindulge in things and a lot of, a lot of times there may be some physical issues some mental issues even some emotional issues so that's why we advise that once you see a doctor once you get clear for physical activity you can go to the gym you can work out you see a health coach get your contract a health coach or a life coach someone who can who can help you to readjust your attitude toward life at your attitude toward food your attitude toward uh self-improvement all of those things because we you to function as a productive human being you have to be physically healthy mentally healthy and spiritually or emotionally healthy you got to have a good um attitude when you have to have a good attitude when it comes to self-improvement you have to be willing to improve yourself daily you have to be willing to be groomed be be engaged in self-improvement be about making look making small strides daily because as our understanding of our needs our self needs you get more clear we realize that life is sacred that your life is a sacred thing and you have the responsibility of taking care of your life you have that responsibility to ensure that you put the proper food in your body that you put good fats complex carbohydrates protein from from clean sources it's your responsibility to ensure that but your responsibility is not the grocery store responsibility it's not uh, the doctor's responsibility it's your responsibility it's not your spouse's responsibility it's your responsibility to let your spouse know uh what you want and how what and what you need but it's not your spouse's responsibility so take your own take the reins of your own health make ensure that you make healthy choices so until next time we're going to lead you leave you with that hope that um you got some value and to, um if you're still here 
hit that subscribe button, smack the like button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.